So as the days and weeks go by, we are slowly hitting all of the cars with these daily build videos. Usually I try to put the upcoming summit required cars in my daily builds in the days leading up to the summit, but eventually I will already have tunes for them or at least some of them. So I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about all of the required cars for the upcoming summit in one video that you guys get on Tuesday morning. All right, let's go. So my plan is I will go back and test each of the tunes that I already had on those cars and make any necessary changes and then rerun them on my test courses to see how good or bad they actually are and update the rankings for that class. It's going to be interesting each week to see where the cars are now given that I have a lot more cars on the list and my skill level has likely risen since I first tested them. All right, this week is the Solar Eclipse Summit and the three cars required are the Chrysler 300 SRT8 in Street 2, the Ford GT in Racing, and the Pagani Zonda F in Hyper. If you'd like to watch me in the Grand Races with these cars or maybe hear a little more detailed commentary, I will link the original videos provided that I actually did videos for these cars. Some of these cars, I just never made the video. And of course, leave a comment down below if you want to see sort of a different format or maybe see me do some grand races with these three cars. Anyways, let's start with the slowest and most irritating car of the bunch, the Chrysler 300. It runs a time of 220.187 on Kyusha Spirit, which is basically bottom of the barrel. Its greatest weakness is definitely understeer in the corners, but you can make an argument that acceleration also puts up a fight for that title as well. It's just an all around bad car and obviously no one would drive it if it wasn't required for this week's summit. I did make some adjustments for my previous tune, mostly because now I'm playing with a higher steering sensitivity. So here's the new tune. Moving on to the second slowest car and another pain in the butt to drive v4 gt racing car this is not the newer gt it's the older one and it's kind of terrible it ran a pitiful 245.818 on my test course staying ahead which puts it near the back of the pack its greatest weakness is definitely its understeer which is due in part to its lateral g stat of 1.31 that's the same lateral g stat that some street 2 cars have in fact out of 45 cars that i've tested it is the worst lateral G stat so far. That should tell you all you need to know. Now that being said, we still need to use it in this upcoming summit. So you're still gonna need a tune for it. And here it is. Finally, let's talk about the Pagani Zonda F. Now this one I tested not too long ago, so going back to it didn't really prove to be any different. It runs a very respectable time of 120.872 on Achieving Immortality and a lackluster 229.830 on Legendary vs Rivalry, which says to me it handles well and oversteers nicely and keeps good speed through corners in high speed situations but is fairly hard to control in gutters and tends to be a little slow to accelerate. Now, depending on the track we get in this summit, that could be no problem or it could be a huge problem. I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. If you didn't catch my tune on the dedicated video for this on F, here it is again. And that's pretty much it for this video. Go ahead and let me know what you think of this style of video each week. Would you like to see this in this format or would you rather see a little bit of both, maybe some pro settings and then some grand races with each of these cars? I actually thought about doing just the portion of the grand race where I'm in that car so you can see it in the wild. I think adding three full grand races to a video just makes this video super, super long. So keep that in mind with your comments and suggestions. I'm literally open to any suggestions that you guys might have on how you want to change it or how you want to receive this information. Anyways, thanks ahead of time for the feedback. And don't forget, you can always send me a DM. I read every single message that comes my way. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.